You can't be serious. It's the only way. Jack agreed to this. Agreed is a strong word. Case, it's not safe. Do you know that? I know. I've never been up there. See, so but... don't you think as owner of the house, it's time you found out? Look, what are you... How do you even plan on getting over the hole? Jack's gone to the hardware store to rig up a temporary ramp to bridge the gap. Whew, girl is good with her hands. Ew, but... Why wouldn't you just use a ladder? We thought about it, but if the three of us have to make a hasty exit, the ladder won't cut it. Point taken. Wait, the three of us? I assume you'd come. Doesn't matter if you don't. Why are you really doing this? I had the dream again. With the voices? Yeah, except, except this time, they were screaming. Okay, look, I think the dreams are a message for me to go upstairs. Or they're just luring you there. Well, I don't know what else to do, okay? Like, there's gotta be something up there. Well, there's gotta be a better way. You think of one? I'm all ears. Casey, what could there possibly be left to find? This is just an old house. You mean Jack feeding lines or something? Please don't do this. Okay, listen. We will be fine. Okay. No. There's something I need to tell you. Let's hear it. When I inherited this house, a lawyer gave me a letter from my mom. What'd it say? <sighs> well, she told me she loved me. That if I was reading the letter, then she wasn't there to tell me how proud of me she was, but that she always knew I was special. It's beautiful. That's not all. There was also a warning. Darling, if you're reading this, you've probably just been told that Grantham House now belongs to you. My love, please know this is not the blessing it appears to be. This house is rotten. Its very essence has been poisoned, and now it leaves a stain on those who inhabit it. You have to stay away. If you can, sell it and use the money to get out of town like I should have. If no one will buy it from you, leave anyway. This runs deeper than you could ever begin to understand. I wish I could tell you more, but I'm not sure I understand it all myself yet. Is that it? No reason? No. Sorry, I don't mean to sound insensitive. It's just, it's strange. She'd tell you to stay away from this place and not give you an explanation why? I should have listened. Why didn't you? Because of you. I don't know, because... Something about your voice on the millionth message you left me. I could, uh, I could just hear your desperation and your passion and, and you seem so damn sure that you were just gonna come into this house and uncover all of its secrets. And I mean, I, I was intrigued. I know there's more to the story and I know there's more to my mother's death. And I guess you were right. I do want to know. Of course you do. Your mother left you a cryptic note telling you to stay away from this place and then ends up dying here. Yeah, well, now I'm not sure I want to know. I should have listened. Her warning should have been enough, Casey. This house is toxic. I see what it's doing to you. We need to get out. I can't leave. If you really want to, 
Consider this the termination of your contract with us. But I'm not going anyway. Casey, I don't care about the stupid contract. People have managed to ignore this house for over a hundred years. Why can't you? Look, I know it sounds absurd, but I know I'm supposed to be here. You're not being fair. How am I supposed to leave when I know you're here, in over your head, playing paranormal investigator? Don't leave. Stay. Help us. Just about you. It's coming from upstairs. <laughs>